Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here. And the subject this time is of, uh, well, a substantial shop front, uh, maybe a house, but uh, a shop front predominantly, I think. And it, it, it doesn't take too much to, to, to make it look more substantial than just an ordinary uh, two windows and a door. Um, you, you can make it look uh, far more impressive uh, just by, you know, adding a, a bay window, uh, the cornice at the top here, and, and very easy to do, and obviously <laughs> very cheap to do. Um, all I've used is uh, some barbecue sticks and two millimeter cardboard, uh, just a few offcuts I had lying around, and uh, you can uh, achieve something like this that will go very well on a on a diorama. You could obviously make the whole thing into a full-size building just to add something like that but the, the whole point of this video is uh, just um, just the shop front okay so let's get on with the video and I'll show you how I went about making it so I'm just going to make the the shop front itself um, you, you could add it to a, a bigger building if you so wished but um, the, the, the principle is the same for just for making the, the, the shop front itself. So what we need is uh, it's going to be on a 90 degree corner. Uh, so the road, the path or rather come along there and along there. And then the, uh, the front door will be at an angle there. So this distance needs to be the width of your door plus some molding of some kind either side of the door. So I've made this distance uh, to two inches, uh, 50 millimeters. So that's going to give me a, an inch and a quarter wide door plus some uh, room for um, some molding. And again, this distance will be the, the same, uh, allowing for the molding, then a bow window and then uh, a bit on the end. <laughs> So that's basically the shape that you're going to need. And you'll need two of those, one of those at the top, one of those at the bottom. So that's basically going to be, uh, be the shape of it like that. OK, so once we've got that, then we can determine the, the actual uh, shop front itself. So um, this distance will be the same as that distance. So that when you score just slightly down on this two millimeter cardboard, that will bend and fit around there like so. Okay, one at the top, one at the bottom. So that will give us the permanent shape that we need like that. So 90 degrees like that. So we can dr draw the door we want, although that will be cut out and a new door will have to sit behind. But to, to give us a, a, a perspective of what it will look like, draw your door um, an inch and a quarter wide, two and a quarter inches tall, which is two and a quarter, 50, 58 millimeters. And then the size of the bow windows that you want. Uh, so there will be uh, molding above here, molding right up here, molding down everywhere, just to make it look um, more substantial than just a, a plain ordinary shop front. Okay, so once we've got that shape and that cut like so, then we can consider the, uh, the bow windows. So this will be cut out, obviously, and this will be the bow window that will sit proud of the window in front like that. So this is going to be longer than that. So whatever distance that is, which is uh, two and a half inches, so this is three inches. So by the time this bay window fits in, uh, it will be able to, to sit uh, proud of the front of the window. The best way uh, to do it is to mark out your three windows 
So one to the side, one in front, and another one to the side. Then cut your, um, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> I've just said it on, this, on the other one. Uh, score, that's it. <laughs> just uh, before you cut these windows out, score down these lines so you can bend that into the shape of your bow window. So it'll be like that. Then when you've got that shape, then cut out the windows itself. So you'll end up with that. It's just if you cut these windows out first, it's not so easy then to score these lines and bend very thin card. <clears throat> Once you've got that shape first, then uh, you've got, uh, then do the windows and then that will, oh, if I can do it, sit like that. Okie dokie. So I'll cut out the door, cut out the windows, put my um, fr uh, bow windows um, on both sides. Then I can start adding uh, all kinds of uh, mouldings that will make it look a lot better. OK, so I'll go ahead and do that and I'll be back in just a moment. So I put the shop together, put those two pieces at the bottom and one at the top and put some moulding on the front. Um, the, well, starting at the top, it's just three pieces of card, that's all. Um, what I did was determine how long I wanted the piece, so enough to go around in one piece. So along there, along there, and along there. So once you've got that length, then with a piece of sandpaper, just sand a bevel or round the edge of that uh, of that length then cut a very thin strip uh, I think the first one was uh, th uh, half an inch and then three eighths and then three sixteenths something like that um, once you've got that length then again score where the uh, well score where you need to score uh, at these points here and then it will fit round all in one one piece and if you keep building it up, then you 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 end up with a, a cornice looking uh, uh, moulding at the top there, which looks very um, impressive. Or <laughs> it will do when it's uh, got a coating of uh, wool filler, which I will do next. Uh, then not quite so much along this edge here. And then for these pieces, uh, just cut off pieces of um, barbecue sticks. Um, I, I think most DIY shops now sell all kinds of barbecue equipment and uh, the best way of cutting them is to mark out the length that you want and then just roll roll the knife over like that and then with a little bit of pressure it will cut through very easily and a nice uh, square square cut. So I've put those those along there, three along, well I put one along the where I'd scored the um, the card, and then two this side, and then one the other side of it. <laughs> okay, and then again just pieces of card with the edges um, beveled, and uh, uh, you can have any shape obviously that you like. Okay, so that that's our shop. Uh, now for the bay windows. I've made up the bay windows. The, the most difficult part is, is getting this shape at the top. Okay, so if you want to <laughs> if you want to stop stop the video, that's the shape that you want. It will look like that. So you've got this distance, which is the same as that distance between the scores, score lines. So it's it's that distance there, oh, that way, that way. Then uh, a slight angle back. I don't know what that angle is. It might be a case of uh, trial and error. But just slightly uh, angled backwards, then score. And then this distance from there to there will be the same as from there to there. And that distance will be the same as that distance to there. So from the score line to the edge. I hope 
<laughs> I hope you're following all this. Uh, so then when you score, uh, bend those score lines, that sits on top of the, uh, I've been calling them bow windows, bay windows they are, bay windows. Where do I get bow windows from? Uh, so, so there you can see that's that's the shape that you need. Uh, but again, trial and error and you'll, you'll get it eventually. Uh, and then just uh, another piece along the bottom, uh, which will sit on the road, if you like. So it'll be that kind of shape. Like that. And then the other one will sit there. And there you can see it's it's starting to look like a very impressive looking uh, shop front part of a building. So I'll go ahead and stick my bay windows or bow windows, um, stick those on permanently and then I'll give it a coat of watered down wall filler and that will fill in all these score lines where the uh, the card has, has sort of opened up. I can get rid of all those with the uh, wall filler, give it a bit of when it's dry, give it a, a bit of a rubbing down uh, and that's it. That's what, that's all I'm going to do. Um, it, it's just basically to show you what what you can do with a few off cuts of cardboard. It makes uh, makes it look quite impressive and cost nothing. Cost nothing to make. <laughs> okay, so I'll do that. Stick these on and uh, finish off. Well, finish it off, and I'll be back to show you. Okay, so I stuck my bow windows on bay windows, bow bay, and. Um, gave it a bit of a, a painting. Um, I, I painted it all in uh, white wall filler with a little water in just to fill any uh, cracks or um, where I'd scored the cardboard and then gave it this other coat of paint um, and weathered it just a little. So as you can see just with a few off cuts of uh, cardboard, two millimeter cardboard uh, you can make a, a reasonably substantial looking uh, shop front there and you, you could if you took it further make it into a full full size house for a diorama uh, I'm not going to do that this is just a, um, a test piece really just for the uh, the, the shop front itself uh, so anyway I'll leave it with you um, you might want to do something similar um, it just uh, makes an, uh, what would normally be an ordinary shop front into something a little more substantial and, and something nicer to look at. Okay, so thanks again for watching the video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Please click the subscribe button. Please click the like button. Uh, if you see a button, click it. <laughs> Anything. Um, I'll see you in the next video, um, which will be in uh, two or three days time. Um, click the notification bell and you will be informed when that new video comes along. No charge, no emails, no, no nothing. It's all free. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, I wish you the very best of happy modeling. Hello there, it's Diorama Don here once more and the subject this time is of, um, well, the, a building, a house, a shop maybe. Um, you, you would normally fuck.